Hi guys, welcome to the next video on the brake testing of the muzzle shackles. We're gonna load these until something gives. Either the muzzle's gonna pull off the barrel or the shackle's gonna pull out. We're gonna wind our NEMA through there. It'll be three loops tied in a knot and we're gonna haul on that. Um, this is one of the questions that came from you guys. Please feel free to ask whatever you want us to test. If we have the time, we will put them into the test area and we will load them to break point just to show you how strong they are or weak they are, depending on the circumstances. Meet us at the test bench. On our muzzles, we have a square edged pocket for these shackles. You'll see here, there's a shackle on the left. That's a conventional off the shelf shackle that has round uh, lobes to it. Whereas ours you see are square. That's how we maintain the shackle in its orientation. So we had our test station. We're gonna test our standard low profile open muzzle. We're gonna haul on that shackle. The one in the test station actually has a broken section here. So I'm not destroying a good one. I need glasses, stand by. There's our load cell. It's attached to the ram. We're gonna haul back on it. We set it at zero. It has a triple wrap of Dyneema. We hope that's a lot stronger than the muzzle. Let's see what gives. There's 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120. Your mono would have broken by then, or your crimp would have given. I think the shackle moved a bit there. 180, 200. There we go. What gave? There, it did break out. But as you can see, that held well over 200 kgs. You're never gonna be able to pull that hard. We're now going to set it up with the roller muzzle. Let's see how that does. Well, there you can see what actually broke. As I mentioned before, this was already a stressed muzzle. It had broken out there. That whole front broke out. Uh, still very, very strong, even though it was already a stressed muzzle. This is 30% glass filled nylon, super strong, but still will break. So we're now gonna brake test the roller muzzle shackle. It's all set up. You may have noticed that there are two different sizes. The reason we went with the smaller one on the roller was to bring the lines closer in so they didn't foul with the roller. For obvious reasons, that means it should be a tad weaker. But anything over 100 kilos is good. There we are attached, and it's only if your shooting line is attached to it. Most times guys use these with reels, and the real line is just fed through that shackle. There's no load on the shackle. Let's break it. There we go, 90, 100. Something's giving. I think the shackle just moved. There we 130. Your mono would have parted by now. Dyneema would have parted. There we go. That was about 170 something. And the shackle pulled out with the nylon component. There you can see the brake hauled out on that piece of glass filled nylon. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please keep the questions coming and we'll keep testing like this. If you guys like to subscribe, you'll get notifications when we're doing these videos. Hope you enjoyed that. Stand by for the next.